Hey T-Squad, what it do? Welcome to the Tea world Reason recently graced the real Kaposa stage and spilled more tea about his fallout with Nomuzi Mapena, well known as Muzli. Being the ghostwriter for so many artists, Reason says he wrote lyrics for Muzli, but the misuse of everything caught him off guard. When she started dissing his business partners in a song that he's in without telling him. I basically wrote something for Numuzi and when you write something for someone, you give them the demo and I left her with the demo. The demo was for her to record something new and she recorded. She decided to keep my vocal and then write a diss track to my business partners. The part that she keeps forgetting is for a very long time I, I kept asking, who are you talking about? Who are you talking about? Because I heard it. I heard her do the rhymes like, oh yeah, this is dope. It's a battle, you know, but like then and I said, who are you talking about? In the beginning, I thought, typically, I thought it was because maybe she was talking to Nadia. She said, no, she's not talking to her. In fact, she didn't even say at the time. It was only after a week when I bumped into her. We were at Groove somewhere. Then she said, yo, this song is about Boiti's manager. It's not even about Boiti. So I was like, yo, man, why are we dissing managers? Why am I on a track that's dissing the person that I work with? So I asked to be removed and that's the part she seems to always forget when we have this chat. Dog, take my vocal off. If you're going to do this thing, do it wholeheartedly. Go for it. I even sent it to the other guys after I got it. So the guys also knew about it. Boiti knew about it, Bash knew about it, everybody in the team knew about this track. And I said, dog, I'm going to tell you this thing once, just take it off and let's keep it moving. And she didn't. I didn't like how it unfolded, explained the rapper. First of all, I would never be on a song saying four ways freestyle. I don't live in four ways. And my thing about it, I actually wanted it to be a party song. It's a pro kid sample. She chose to be aggressive and I was like, dog, just take my vocal off. So she got mad because I told her to take my vocal off. And then she ended up writing a diss track to me. Added reason. We may have pinpointed the reason why Muzli is the most underrated musician. It turns out she is quite a hard nut to crack. Anyways, happy birthday, Muzli. And that's it for now. Do make sure that you stay tuned as we will be spilling more tea. And we as the tea world loves you.